Southwest announced this week that it plans to increase capacity by 7% to 8% in 2015. That's up from its previous 7% estimate. Airline stocks were hit on the news amid fears that increases in capacity across the industry will lead to an oversupplied market. Appropriate airline capacity growth is largely expected to be in line with U.S. GDP, which grew 2.4 percent last year and 0.2 percent in the first quarter of 2015. Southwest grew capacity as measured by available seat miles at 6 percent in the first quarter of 2015 alone. So with depressed oil prices and forecasts of record profits this year, should the news of a capacity increase really be reason to spook investors? Morningstar senior equity analyst Neil DeHora says in the long term, the move is a wise one on behalf of Southwest. The short term is reduced profitability from the prior expectations because we're going to take fares down, we're going to increase capacity. I don't, I don't think it's a huge amount of money because they have a, huge, a large cushion in terms of the fuel expenses. In the long term, I think they capture more passenger traffic. They have a large growth segment that they are trying to feed in the next five years, which is called international. And I think more customers that appreciate the Southwest experience today in this higher capacity environment, maybe they're willing to travel on Southwest for international flights. And I think that's just another boon for them. Southwest Chief Financial Officer Tammy Romo says that much of the airline's growth is coming from Dallas Love Field, where the carrier is expanding and believes it has pent-up demand for its service. Romo noted that this is a peak year, and looking ahead, she expects capacity growth to glide down more in line with GDP. In New York, I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.